So again, we're looking at a right skeletal foot. We're looking this time at a medial point of view. So we can see tibia, calcaneus, talus, and then navicular with the navicular tuberosity, medial cuneiform, first metatarsal with base, shaft, head, and a couple of sesamoid bones here on the inferior surface. And then we've got the phalanges, so proximal and distal with, again, sh uh, base, shaft, head. Uh, and then what we can do, of course, is turn the specimen over and look at the dorsal point of view, where we can see medial, intermediate and lateral, or first, second and third cuneiforms, and then the cuboid bone. Now, there's one feature here on a lateral point of view. Apologies, I'll turn the, the foot around this way. From the lateral point of view, there's a big space here between the talus and the calcaneus. And that is the sinus tarsi. So the sinus tarsi is this large lateral opening of the tarsal canal, which is the tunnel that runs in between the talus and calcaneus there and actually runs right through the foot with the interosseous talocalcaneal ligament inside. But the sinus tarsi is that large lateral opening of that tunnel. So that's the sinus tarsi there. Okay, now, uh, when we're looking at joints of the foot, what it is possible for me to do is to put some blue tack around one of the joints, put it right around where the joint is, and then put a pin in the blue tack, and then you have to say which joint that is. So this one here, of course, would be the calcaneo cuboid joint, but if the blue tack carried on over here, what would it be? if it went right across the foot there? That would be... No, that would be the transverse tarsal or mid-tarsal joint. So that's the one that runs right across the foot. So that's a functional joint that runs right across the foot there, OK? If there was uh, a line of blue tack that went right across here, uh, so up here between the talus and the navicular, and then also here between the talus and the calcaneus, that would be the talo-calcaneo navicular joint. So that's, there's a horizontal part of it here and then a vertical part of that joint here. So if we open it up, that joint surface is, is all of these facets here. Okay? And it's separated by this tunnel here from the anatomical subtalar joint, which is just here. So again, if there was blue tack just around this region here, that would be the anatomical subtalar. But if it was all around, if I put them back together, if it was here and then up here, that would be talocalcaneo navicular. So that's some of the, the joints there that we can see. We'd have a, a medial tarso metatarsal here, a lateral tarso metatarsal here and of course if there was just blue tack all over the place all through here that would be the great tarsal joint in there which covers a lot of territory in around the cuneiforms cuboid navicular and two of the um, metatarsals as well.